Zach Mickelwright. Coming up next, Dustin. Yet Louisiana, the Diamond. 21 of a 53-second TKO, as we mentioned a moment ago. And it's to have to be so young and be making your UFC debut. No, he's getting in some good training. Combined age of these two fighters, Joe. Josh Crispy. Yeah, that's ridiculous. ridiculous. There you go. I'm old. <laughs> the weight cut went very well. He has finished all eight of his victories. Dustin Poirier. Originally scheduled to fight Jose Aldo tonight, right on January 1st. I still want to go in and do battle. Well, he has been looking at Micah Miller. I mean, he is, uh, you know, he's really on a take shot of the title and the champion Jose Aldo, but he wants to keep moving, wants to see. Actually made his WEC debut four months, the winner of 10 straight fights. In fact, in his career, years, and that's uh, pretty impressive considering that he's only 22 years of age. Just Poirier. Against 22-year-old, Crispy, two inches taller, he will have... FC Featherweight Division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue, fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin the Diamond. This man holds a professional record, 14 wins, one loss, standing by Crispy. And with the answer... For this fight at 145 pounds, the beautiful Brittany making... Get out, come on! We are underway! Towards a kick, you can see him... Oh, nice front kick there. Boy, I would love to spoil the Josh Grisby party. There's a lot of hype behind this. He's game, and he will expose them. Oh, right now, he's showing some excellent stand-up. He jumps up into guard here. That's a, he has the left arm tied up. No way he can stop it. Double underhooks for Poye. Their weight battle. Grisby. Good knee by Poye. And Poirier won it. Yep. Poirier is turning it up. And he forces Crispy to try to take him down. In the Crispy has, as you said, all the hype, the significance of the fact he looks very relaxed yeah, as a result to, of it. You have to wonder now whether... Oh, my. Poirier is just lighting him by Crispy, but we got to make sure that he gets on top. And he does not. Because of all those first round finishes, what will happen if he's pushed? We might find up. Oh. Beautiful Continuous combination. Oh, he's told. And he makes a half-hearted shot there. The longest fight for Josh Grisby of his last oh, tight ten fights, Joe. He hadn't gone more than two and a half minutes long. Grisby's still trying pressed up against his hand so that Grisby can't pull that hand free and stick it to it. He's got to yank that arm out of there if he can. And Josh Grisby trying to close. He's got to make sure Grisby doesn't tie those arms up to get, together. Again. Here in round one. The arm's pretty much... Oh! He yanks it out and up and beyond. Now Grisby no longer has his hands together. and It's not in, uh, in danger of being submitted. And now the arm's not even trapped. Beautiful. He's in your world now. He's in your world now. Three. I'm attacking Josh Crispy. Knock Josh Crispy down. Getting set for round number two. Second round. In the W. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by Poirier. Crispy shoots in. Combinations in round number one. Oh, oh and still he delivers. Oh, he steps over the leg. They're in the dog fight here. Round by Poirier in the guard of Josh Crispy. Make sure his left arm doesn't get caught in between the two legs. If Crispy has got to make sure, oh, he's got to look out for the armbar too. Now he's going to pass the guard. Nicely done. Crispy get worked like this in all of his fights in the WEC. Hampshire history to make his pro debut at age 17. Putting a beating on Josh Grisby. Can't count Grisby out. He's a winner. He knows how to win. He's just got a fin beaten up. And then when he gets to the ground, the, you know, because of the fact that he's taking so many he shoots again. And as he has his hands clasped. 
But right now, he's, he's able to hold this position. See, now Grisby steps over, like I said. But now here, he's pressed up against the cage. And position. Under 90 seconds. <laughs> Confident corner of dust. He threw up the legs for a triangle. Long time. Grisby's got to get out of this spot. Ten seconds on. He's in trouble. See, Mazzagatti taking a good look at him. Huge. Ross, you hit the double when you tried it. You threw a punch. You didn't mean anything at all. This one little cut. All you have to do is suck it up. With a vicious elbow inside and a nice uppercut as well. And again and again, just vicious knees and uppercut. And Josh Grisby, two huge rounds for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. 45 since seventh grade, which for Poirier actually wasn't that long ago. Grisby. Nice inside leg kick as well by Poirier. Well, in retrospect, it's probably a good thing that Josh Grisby didn't fight Jose. Because uh, if Poirier can do this to him, I would hate to see what he could guillotine. And there's still four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Poirier got the tie clinch again here. Yes. Here comes leg kick. Followed by a left hand by Poirier. Stop, stop, stop. Great job done here tonight and back to his feet. Three and a half remains in the fight. Mike, in my opinion, he's got to try to either knock him out or... You talked There's about... opening right there for a triangle if he... Had Poirier in a little bit of a bad situation. The way he had Porter really pulled the arm out and get close to submitting it. Well, we learned Justin, uh, excuse me, Josh Grisby can take it. That's for sure. He has a hold of his knee now and wants to try to get Poirier down, and he does. Pushing down on the right thigh, trying to step over. He's got his right leg trapped in between the two legs of Poirier. Would like to get one that's, he's got wrapped around Josh Grisby's neck. If he can keep that arm, Americana. Let's see if he can get out of this spot here. Grisby trying to sneak out to the left side. The stepped over it. Now he's got to press down on the knee. And he can't be patient here. He's got to move at a very, very fully. Absolutely. I mean, there's no, I mean, if, if somehow. 50 he must seconds. I'm talking about the judging. Up to the neck. There's a submission here. Back at stage one. He's got to pass again and try one more time. Much, much stronger in the stand-up position and in the top position. That tonight here in Las Vegas. Absolutely. Tremendous performance by Dustin Poirier. Really, really impressive, especially considering all the hype that was on this fight, Mike, was in the stand-up. In his kicks and his punches, beautiful him out of it, passed the guard, landed some ground and pound, and here's some to take a tremendous amount of punishment. But that is a... Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision.